Nate. Oh, okay. There we go. That's it. Yes, sorted. Hopefully you can still hear me. Yeah, that's fine. It's looking okay. Oh, welcome again. Welcome again. Oh, dear. Another day of virtual yoga. What can I say? So, um, just read my wee disclaimer as usual, okay? It's up to you to assess whether you're ready for the class. If you suffer from any introduced diseases or illness, you might want to consult with your GP first. Uh, if you're pregnant, just follow any recommended practice only. And obviously, I'll tell you if there's contraindications if you're pregnant. Um, the practice of Drew Yoga requires you to gauge the safety of your practice and work within your personal limitations. So, obviously, I assume no responsibility for any of you suffer from practicing via online videos in class. Okay, okay. So if you haven't noticed, I've put another, another one or two classes on YouTube. I can't remember. I have to do it at night because the broadband connection is rubbish. It takes hours. So I can't remember. And I've got another Qigong warm up to put on, which hopefully I'll do tonight. So you can have a wee nosy at that. So I've got quite a few videos sitting there waiting, but as I say, I need to wait to night time. It's only time I've got. <laughs> We're not watching telly or anything like that, but it doesn't interfere with the broadband. Okay, no. so if you want to do a wee bit extra, you have a wee nosy at, at YouTube. Okay, so we're going to just remember, just do what you can. Nice soft joints, listen to your body, have a wee drink, sit down, rest, anytime. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so get your activation music ready, if you've got it. Okay, just get us all warmed up. Okay, so just shake it into the hands. Bring it out, shaking. Bring it up a little bit. Oh, lovely. Back out. Shake into the shoulders. Back out. Shake it up and round. And we'll go the other way, just to let you know that it's a woodpecker's turn on the peanuts tonight. The nut hatch hasn't appeared, so that might happen later on. Just keep you up to date with all that's happening in the bird world. So just bring those shoulders up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing out, breathing out. Once more. And then we'll bring the other way. Shoulder blades together, up to the ears, open it up. Oh, that's that sneaky wee bit in between the blades. Still a wee bit of tension, still there. Yeah. One more time. Oh, lovely. Just feel, see how you feel. Put your weight onto one foot. Okay, make sure you're nice and strong on that leg. We're just going to suckle into the ankles, so the ball of the other foot stays on the floor. Oh, yep, creaks and cracks. <laughs> you know, I studied reflexology in about 1992 or something like that. Something, yeah. So I really need to get some reflexology done in myself because the cracks and creaks is ridiculous. And we'll go the other way. Then we'll put that foot down, put your weight into that side, and we'll go to the other side. And reverse it. Lovely. Just widen the feet. We're going to take a nice wider stance tonight. Okay, so. Arms are still wrapping round. Okay. So then wrap round. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a wee bit of weight shift this time. But if this annoys your knees and you don't have to do it, okay? I'm just going to move. It's like you're kind of downhill skiing. Okay, if this is annoying to your knees, it's sharp, nippy, just 
please just come back to the centre and just do a little spinal twist just like before. Bring the feet back to the forward. Heel toe them in just a wee bit. And we're going to just move into that slightly deeper spinal twist just by lifting the heel. So just lift and lift. Halfway. If you like, or if you want to take it deeper, do that twist further up the spine, bring the arms down, bring about the chest height. Oh, that way, just feel the spine just letting go of the tension. And if you want, you can bring the arms up above, let it all go. And down by the chest again. And just let them drift round once again. And just bring the feet back, just facing forward. Just let the arms just. Start to slow down. We'll do that little figure of eight. Get those hips moving. Remember, nobody's watching you. You're absolutely fine. Don't really watch me. Watching probably a chicken going by the window. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear them squawking sometimes. And you take the arms up. And over to one side. If you want to bend the knees, you can see if you're okay. So go a wee bit closer up to the floor. If it doesn't feel right, then don't do it. Just freestyle, go wherever you wish. Just come back centre. We're going to have just have one hand, just let it slide down the thigh. The other hand just going to reach up and just have a little side bend. It's almost like that hand sliding down towards the knee. Just feel that lovely opening from the hip to the underarm. And we'll come back. We'll swap. Let it slide down. Stretch up first. And then just a little side bend. Swap, stretch up, side bend, stretch, side bend. One more to each side. Stretching up, side bend. And once more. Ah, oh, hope you're all feeling okay. So we'll do a little leg stretches, okay? So I'm going to do stepping forward, okay, nice. Good width between the front and the back. Just bend that front knee. Feel this into the calf of the back leg. I was going to say, if you've ever done any running or cycling, then you'll know what this feels like. It's a long time since I've done anything like that and felt a muscle that tight. But there we go. So we'll just bring that front foot in front of the other one and just bend the knee. Feel that right down, right into the bottom part of the calf and all the way down into the ankle. And then we'll straighten up, just extend that front leg. So as I lift you, you can rest on that thigh. Feel that lovely stretch. 
calves back of the knee up to thigh and into the buttocks of the other side as well. And we take time to straighten it up. We're going to step forward with the other leg. Nice big white stance. Bend that front knee. Just feel the back of the knee just opening and just letting go of that tension. Bring that foot in front of the other one. Bend and go through. It's like doing a little grip step. And then we'll just straight up, extend that front leg, put your hands on the thighs, make sure the toe is lifted. And slowly straighten up, bring yourself back to front. Okay, just do a few little arm stretches, bring an arm across the chest. Just going to use the other arm, you can bring it in like so, keep it away from the elbow. Or if you want, you can really hug it in. You just want to feel that slight stretch into the shoulder. Set it go, same arm, you're going to bring it up, bring it over, stick whatever you can comfortably reach. But you feel an extension from the lumbar arm right up to the elbow. And if it's comfortable, you can gently pull it back a little bit with the other arm. If this isn't comfortable, then you please just ease off or not do this. And just release it. Over to the other side, just gently across the chest, pulling it in. Feel that lovely extension. And we'll just extend that one up. If it's comfortable, gently pulling it back. Lovely, and just release it. Oh, very good. Shake everything out. Hopefully you're feeling okay. So if you need to, have a little drink, something fine. I'll put the heat on in here. I think I'm going to be roasted in a very short time. So, okay, so what we're going to do today is chair of the heart, cat, probably moving cat, moving into dog, and then pull things together, put them into the sun sequence, okay? Give you variations of the sun sequence if there's things that you don't particularly like, so don't worry about it. Okay, so we're going to kind of Thank you together. So we've got a kind of combination of what we did on Monday, uh, and I'm going to add another couple of things in at the end as well. Okay, so bring the feet to uh, hip distance apart, okay? Make sure the toes are running straight. I know it doesn't always look like that on my camera, but my feet are running straight or parallel. We're going to breathe in, breathing out, aging your core. Remember, chain of the heart. So the hands come into prayer above the crown of the head. Have a little peek out the corner of the eyes. You should just see the elbows. If you see the elbows on the upper arm really easily, and you're too far forward, if you can't see anything, it's too far back. Okay. So your core is engaged. Okay, remember for the chain of the heart, a wee cheat is if the arms are straight, that means the legs have got to be bent. And if the legs are straight, that means the elbows are bent. Okay? So remember, we're not going forward or back. It's almost like we're just going straight down. Okay? And then we're coming straight back. So it's all about the core. Keep everything nice and, nice and tight. Protect the spine. The core's engaged. We'll breathe in. The arms will straighten. The knees will bend. Breathing out. Arms bent, knees straighten. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. 
breathe in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathe out. Alleviate many shoulder stiffness. Wait for strengthening the ankles. It's a heart massage. It's working on your heart chakra. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. We'll do one more. We're just lowering the arms. We're going to go into Anahata breath. Anahata is the heart chakra. Breathing into the heart. Turn, breathe out. Just gently push away. And gather. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathe out, breathe in, breathing out, breathing in, out, one more time, breathing in. Breathing out and just gather that energy again, just bring it into the heart. You can place one hand and then the other over that heart center. Thinking of sending energy from your palms into the heart. When you're ready, just gently release the hand. So when you come down onto the floor, we're going to do some cat, moving cat, and then some dog. Okay, so remember you've always got options with the cat. So no, it's usually with your hands on the floor. If that is really uncomfortable, by all means make little fists or even come down onto the forearms. That's fine as well because you've still got the movement of the spine. That's the main thing. Okay. So you can decide what you want, nice flat hands or the fists or if you want to the forearm. Have a little look for your alignment, those hands, below the shoulders, knees beneath the hips and the inside of the elbows are looking towards each other. So we don't want really wacky elbows, which mine are, which keep turning. So, okay, so it's a bit of a challenge to keep them looking at each other, but we'll do it. Spread the fingers. Draw an invisible line from that middle finger and see if it meets the middle of the back and into the knee. Okay, so let's be invisible line. If it's not, just really. Let the toes relax. We're just going to engage the core. Breathe in. Breathing out, core's engaged. Breathe in next time, just follow the back. Pushing through the hands. It's going to look straight ahead. Sucking under the tailbone, rounding the shoulders, tuck the head up. Breathing in, following the back, through the shoulders, look straight ahead. Breathing out, tucking under, rounding the shoulders, tuck that head in. Breathing in. Straight ahead, breathing out, tuck under, breathing in, breathing out, breathe in, breathe out. And just slowly bring yourself back. Maybe to extended child. You can walk the hands away if you want to have a nice longer stretch. Feel it all the way through the spine. You can also widen the knees if you need to make room for the chest, for the belly, anything at all. Absolutely fine. Just feel that extension. 
lovely spread. So the cat is great for just releasing the tension from the spine and also gets some the energy moving up the spine more freely. Just breathe. When you're ready, bring yourself back up. We're going to move into the moving cat. Again, you just decide what's comfortable for you, where your hands are going to be, your fists, whatever it may be. So we'll engage the core first. And then we'll bring that tailbone all the way back towards the heels. Four arms down to the floor. Visualize pushing that wee ball along the floor with your nose, pushing through the hands, rounding the shoulders, tuck the head in, and bring the tailbone back again. Starting the movement. Four arms going down, push that little ball, push through the arms, tuck the head under, tailbone going back. Four arms down, push the ball, tuck the head under, tailbone back, arms going down, push along, push through the arms and the hands, tucking under, going back. Four arms down, push along, tuck under, and just send the tailbone back again. It's a nice extended child once again. Just enjoy the stretch. When you're ready, we're going to come back up. Hopefully your wrists are okay. Okay, so we're going to go into dog. If you don't like dog, or if it's not for you, um, so particularly if you've got like high blood pressure, glaucoma, pregnancy, etc., it's not ideal to do dog because it is an inversion. Okay, but if you just don't like it, it's absolutely fine. You can do a cat or a moving cat instead. Okay, but if you want to do a dog. Okay, it's, it's, it's a great one for alleviating tiredness, stretching out the calves, the knees, the hamstring, you name it. Okay, and it gets the energy moving up through the chakras because you're up and it comes back down, shifts that energy up through the whole lot of them. Okay, starts the same way as cat, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, spreading the hands. Engage the core, so breathe in. Breathing out, core's engaged. We're going to tuck under those toes. Visualize somebody's grabbed you by the back of the trousers. Okay, and then we're going to pull you straight up towards the ceiling. Pulling the elbow up to the ceiling, and then you're going to squeeze those heels down towards the floor. Don't worry if you don't get there. Still getting a stretch. Keep sending that tailbone high, bring the head between the arms. And just feel a nice long stretch in your back. Now we'll breathe in, we'll come up onto the toes, breathe out, bending the knees, bring the knees back down to the mat, relax the toes, and again, just send your tailbone back. Enjoy that stretch. You might want to extend a bit further now, because sometimes when you're a dog, you just think, you know what? I can actually go a little bit further. I've got a wee bit more stretch in my now. Enjoy the stretch. And when you're ready, just come back up. So that's starting position. And we're going to do a dog again. This time we're going to 
come up into dog, and then we're going to take the, the feet to the width of the mat that will allow the hips to open and allow you to squeeze the heels that little bit closer towards the floor. Okay, so we'll breathe in, breathing out, core is engaged, tuck the toes under, bring that tailbone high to the sky, squeeze those heels down, head between the arms, keep sending that tailbone high, set the feet to the width of the mat, squeeze the heels down a little bit further, feel that lovely opening at the back of the knee. Feel that energy from the tailbone going all the way up towards the head. Then the feet back in to hip distance. Breathe in, come up onto the toes, breathing out, bend the knees, relax the toes, send the tailbone back again, send the arms away. And relax into that extended chair once more. And just gently walk the hands back in. Just roll the shoulders back a couple of times. Lovely. And just come round. So that was your cat moving cat and then dog. Okay, so we're going to move into the sun sequence. So remember, sun sequence can be it's quite a flow to keep going from one thing to the other. Okay, so with the Drew sun sequence, we've got the lovely sunbursts, do three of them, and then we'll come down and then we'll have the lovely mini back bends and folding forward onto your leg and then we'll move into a plank don't like planks that's okay you can come straight down onto your front to get ready for sphinx or cobra after that we'll do the dog then we'll do the mini back bends to the other side and then we'll uncurl and we'll do the sunburst again three times and then come back to the start and that's just one side so okay we're going to do it at least once to each side. I'll keep an eye on the time because I want to go and do some other things as well. Okay, but remember, you don't have to do a dog, you can always do a cat. Okay, if that's not for you, it's absolutely fine. Or you can maybe say, you know what, I'm going to try a dog the first time, so the next time I'm too tired, I'm just going to do a cat. That's absolutely fine. So, we're going to come up to stand. If you need to be drink beforehand, go for it. So I'm going to turn sideways because it's a bit easier to see you. Okay, so kind of kind of blend in. You don't know where my arms are if I'm standing this way. So okay, so the feet are hip distance. All right. So to breathe in, breathing out, pulling in the core. Bring the hands into prayer at the centre of the chest. We breathe in, send the hands up, a little back bend, breathing out, put the palms face in towards the body, just shower down the body, in the energy, round the feet, the back of the hands come together up the centre line, bending upwards into a back bend, and gather. Shower down body, round, switching back, showering down, that way. So you're just going to extend, if you extend the same leg as me, so just do your right leg going back. Okay, reposition, make sure your left knee is above the ankle. Just relax that right foot a wee angle to give you a bit more balance. So we're going to breathe in as we open up, breathing out, folding the abdomen and the chest onto the knee, sweep the hands all the way behind you. Breathing in, open up, 
breathing out, sweet behind. Breathing in and breathing out. Bring the hands to the floor. We bring this left foot back. We come into a plank or not. We don't want to do planks, just come on to both knees. You want to do a plank, you just bend the feet back, nice strong position. And then from there, bend the knees down, relax the toes, lower yourself down onto the floor. You can have a grunt or a groan, thinking, my God, I don't know how to bring it back up. So we're going to do the cobra. And this drill yoga, cobra is done in three very small moves, okay? The hands are underneath the shoulders. We breathe in, breathing out, pulling in the core, keep that back nice and strong. As you breathe in, just come up that tiny little bit, look straight ahead. Breathing out, just gently lower back down. Breathe in, just come up that little bit more. Breathing out. Lower down. Last time, breathing in, up to whatever's comfortable for you. Lower abdomen's on the floor, elbows bent, look straight ahead. Contract those lower back muscles. Breathe in, extend the neck away, breathing out. Let go of the core, let the muscles relax. We're going to bring ourselves back. You can either get into cat or dog. I always like to reposition. Okay. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Tuck the toes in for dog. Course engaged. You're going to lift that tailbone up. Squeeze the heels down. Nice long ski slope back. Set the feet out, hip width. Set the feet back into hip width. Bring that right foot. I'm going to bring it forward in the direction of your hands. I could never do it. Bring it up to about here. You can always use your hand to bring it forward. Absolutely fine. Relax that left foot behind. So your chest is on your thigh. Just like we did before, we're going to open up. And then let the abdomen, chest rest in the thigh, sweeping down behind. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathe in. Breathing out. And we'll bring the hands either side of the foot. Up the toes of the back foot under, push through, bring it back up, you hip distance, relax in a nice full forward bend, bend the knees, let the hands, back the hands come together, uncurling, the back bend, and energy shower down the front again. Around the toes, back of the hands together, bending back, here to shower, around the feet again, bending up, back bend, this time bring the hands back into prayer. And bring them back down to the heart centre. Oh, I know. One side done. You're nearly there. <laughs> okay, so that was we put the right leg back and then the right leg forward. So what we'll do is we'll do the other side. So I'll just turn around so it's very easy to do that way. Okay, hopefully that's not going to annoy too much light there. Okay, so I was doing the right leg. So we'll do it all to the left. Okay, once we have enough time to make sure we've got a nice relaxation. So, breathing in, 
Breathing out, core is engaged. So breathe in, hands go up, little back bend, opening. Breathing out, energy shards, palms facing towards the body. All the way in. Around the feet, back of the hands together. Ending up and open. Energy shower. Around the body. Around the feet. Back of the hands again, all the way up the center. Open. Energy shower. Put it down into a nice forward bend. We're going to extend that left foot behind. Okay, right foot, just make sure the knees above the ankle. The angle on that other foot just help your balance. Okay. We're going to breathe in, we're going to extend up and back. Breathe out, abdomen, chest, folding onto the knee, push the hands behind. Breathing in, opening, breathing out, folding forward, push behind. Breathing in, and breathing out. You're going to come into your plank, or just come down onto your knees and then onto your front. What to do, plank? Bring that right foot back. A nice strong plank, holding the knees, flex the toes, bring the chest in. Into your position for cobra, hands underneath the shoulders. Breathe in, breathing out, pulling in the core. Breathing in, just gently push through the hands, just look slightly. Straight ahead, breathing out, relax back down. Breathing in, just raise a little higher. Breathing out. Breathing in, come into the cobra, abdomen on the floor, elbows bent, look straight ahead. Bring those shoulders down away from your ears, track the lower back muscle. Breathe in, breathing out, extend the neck, the elbows float out, float the head back down to the floor, and let go of everything. <sighs> Pushing back into the starting position for dog or cat, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Breathe in. Breathing out, core is engaged. Tuck those toes under. Tailbone high to the sky, squeezing the heels down. Nice long back, head between the arms. Set the feet out, flat width. Squeeze the heels down a bit further. Set the feet back in to hip distance. And then we're going to bring that left foot forward in whatever fashion you can. Just going to bend the knees, bring it forward. Bring the other one down. Three position. Absolutely fine. Okay. So just the same as before. Extend the arms up into a little back bend. Hold abdomen and chest onto the knee. Push the hands all the way back. Breathing in. Open up. Breathing out, folding, all the way in. Breathing in. And breathing in. Bring the hands either side of that foot, tuck the toes under, pushing through. Take a nice forward bend, bend the knees. Back of the hands together, and all the way up. Breathing in, breathing out as you go down. Around the 
of the feet, back of the hands together. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last time. Breathing in. Into prayer. Bring it back into the heart center. Okay. And just let the energy settle. Quite energetic if you feel like doing something in the morning. This is the one. It's basically just stretches and tones all your postural muscles, gets the energy moving. To where it's just great for any vitality and your endurance. Fabulous one to get you kick started in the morning. And just gently let go. Oh, lovely. That's Surya Namaskara, or the sun sequence. Drew sun sequence, which is quite different to everybody else's. So. There we go. So, what I thought we would do is a little inversion. Okay, not everybody likes inversions, but they're great for reversing that energy flow. So, again, we're trying to think about bringing the energy from the feet all the way back into the main body. It's great for any um, helping the blood return to the heart, bringing excess fluid, you get varicose veins, if you're just general fatigue. Great for, for that as well. And you can choose to just do this inversion lying on the mat. If you want, you can have a little pillow because you're going to pop that under your bum or a blanket or a block, whatever is comfortable for you or against the wall. Another way, if you feel you need a bit of support for your legs, extend your legs up the wall. But I thought tonight we could just sit on the mat, just a wee bit extra cushioning, just to raise you just that wee inch or two off, off the floor. Okay. So when you're ready, make sure you're comfortable. Whatever it is that you're resting on, just lean back. To bring the feet up first, let the hands relax. And just like, bring the knees in and then just extend them straight up towards the sky. If you've got a wee cushion or something underneath, that's perfect because it gives you just that little bit extra height and helps keep you up here. If you feel you're a bit shaky and wobbly, just let your legs rest against the wall. Okay. It's a difficult manoeuvre to show you how to get as close to the wall as possible when you try to do it on Zoom. But if you've been to my class, you'll know the hilarities we've had of trying to <laughs> befriend a wall. Okay, so just relax. Let go of it, and your legs might start to do the cha chas and start getting a bit sugary. That's okay. Just the energy shifting, just the blood coming back into the main trunk of the body. Just let go. Just breathe. Close your eyes. I'm still here. I know it's gone quiet, so just go with it. If you're really uncomfortable, you can come out at any time, just by bending the knees into the chest and just rolling onto the right hand side and just relax there. Just 
into that lovely help that you're giving to your heart. Bring the blood back up to the heart without any effort. Nice and gently bring the knees into the chest one at a time. Give them a little squeeze. Got a block or a blanket under the spine. Just push out the rope. Okay. It's going to allow you just to bring the knees in. Have a little rock from side to side. Ease off the lower back. And just roll onto that right hand side, just like we do when we come out of relaxation. Push the left hand down, front of the face, just push yourself up, only when you're ready. If you ever get a chance and you're feeling a bit, oh, you know, I'm exhausted, my legs are sore and everything, makes me want to do. So I thought what we would do is a little bit of butterfly. Like I said before, I do like a bit of yin. So we'll throw a little bit of yin in. So everybody's sitting butterfly, don't worry about how close your feet are. Okay, they can be out here. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to bring them all the way up here. It just depends on how open that inner thigh is. So whatever's comfortable. Main thing, sit on those sitting bones. Pick up all that lockdown blubber that you've gathered, like me, on the back side. Okay, so you just put the feet together. Okay, now you can have your hands just gently clasped around the toes. If that's not possible, just allow the hands just to rest so the palms are open. Okay, but the main thing to do is just to really breathe in, just extend the spine upward. To breathe out, we're just going to relax forward. A nice big heavy head. And just relax and close your eyes. A nice meditative practice and just think about your breathing. Think about how heavy your body is. And think about that lovely stretch that you're getting into the inner thigh and all the way around the spine. Okay, so when you're ready, make sure that you're sitting on the nice wee bit. Breathing in, stand upwards, breathing out, just fall forward, don't worry how far you get. Bring the hands to rest, don't cast cluster in the, the toes. The head be heavy and just let go. I want you to just for the first 30 seconds or so, just find that comfortable position for you. Make those little micro adjustments. Once you're comfortable, be content in that posture, you can hold it and just let go.
when you're ready, just gently open your eyes. Have a little look to see where you are, your heads in relation to your toes. Open a little bit closer than you were, just when you start, but that's only a couple of minutes or so. When you're ready, just slowly allow your spine just to uncurl. Roll those shoulders back. Turn the head side to side. And I want you to now get nice and cozy, ready for your relaxation. Okay. A nice specialization to go with your relaxation. So So let's get ready and lie in your usual shavasana. Just make sure you're lying in a nice straight line. Have that little check. My the toes to be heavy to fall to the outside. With the arms, just create space between the underarms. On the body. I'm just closing your eyes. Going to relax your physical body and we'll inhale and squeeze and exhale and release each part. Just inhale and gently push those heels away. Exhale, just let it go. Inhale, point the toes away. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, tighten up the calves. Squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, gently push the back of the knee to the floor. Exhale, just let it go. Breathe in, squeeze the thigh muscles, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe out, relax, and let it go. Breathing in, just gently contract the lower abdomen and the buttocks. Breathe out, just let it go. Breathing in, gently push that lower back to the floor. Breathe out, let it go. <coughs> Breathing in, just gently push that mid back area to the floor. Breathe out, let it go. Inhaling, gently bring those shoulder blades together at the back, like squeezing them together. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring the shoulders up towards your ears, squeezing. 
Exhale, let it go. As you breathe in now, I want you to make fists with the hands and squeeze. Breathe out and let it go. And we'll repeat this as we breathe in, make those fists. It's time to raise them off the floor an inch or two, squeezing all the way up into the shoulders. Breathing out, relax and let go. I want you to take a swallow to relax your throat. Take very gently, bring your chin towards your chest. Just feel that extension in the back of the neck. And relax and let go. I want you to have a yawn, just stretch all the facial muscles. I want you to scrunch up all the facial muscles, squeeze and let go. And I want you to have a little scan through your body. Just to see if there's any further areas that are holding tension. And if there are still areas, breathe in, hold. As you breathe out, just relax, let it go. And just be aware of each area, just relaxing and letting go onto the floor. Just for a few moments, just scan through your body and see if there's any areas that still hold tension and just see it let go. And I want you to imagine that you're sitting beside a lake on a fine summer's day. And the lake is placid and still, and the sun is shimmering on the water, creating a slight heat haze. As you look through the heat haze, you're able to make out a small island. The lake is surrounded by high mountains, yet all is quiet and still. As you gaze out, a slight breeze begins to blow away this heat haze. And you sit and gaze for a while. And as the haze completely clears, you're able to see the island more clearly. On the island, you can see a lone tree. Surrounding the tree are bushes laden with deep blue blossom, and you can almost smell the perfume. At the edge of the lake is a small wooden bridge. And this bridge takes you over the lake to the island. The water is very shallow and the bridge is solid. And as you walk over the bridge, you're able to see the lone tree glinting and glistening, with golden leaves hanging from branches. The leaves shine and glint in the sun.
As you walk to the end of the bridge, you are able to smell the perfume from the blue blossom. This is a flower you have never seen before. And the blossom hangs like giant globes of blue light. As you make your way towards the tree, you see that the golden leaves glittering in the sunlight have words written on them. You go towards this tree and each leaf is impressed with golden words. Comfort, strength, healing, friendship and health. The tree of life is full of golden leaves, each one bearing a positive thought, and you're allowed to borrow whichever leaf you're in need of at this moment in time. Or perhaps you may be thinking of someone else who is more in need than yourself. All the leaves are so bright, and you look up into the branches, and you choose yourself a golden leaf. This tree of life that holds the golden leaves invites you to sit back and relax against a strong trunk. You hold your chosen golden leaf in your hand, thinking of that positive thought, and you hold it still. Hold fast and feel the golden light from the leaves surround you as you now sit in quiet contemplation.
when you're ready to leave the tree of life. Place your chosen golden leaf back on the tree and gently make your way across the bridge back to the lakeside. As you drift back from the visualization of the tree of life, make sure that your positive thoughts are still clear in your mind. To visualize now the crown of your head, a bright ball of sunlight. And as you breathe in, we to visualize this light moving in to the crown of your head, gently awakening the brain, and moving into the eyes, the forehead. Travelling down into the nose, the cheeks, the jaws and the ears and the whole of the head. Breathing in again, bringing the light down into the throat. Perhaps you'd like to have a swallow. So make sure the throat is opened again. Breathing in. Follow this light from the crown as it travels down into the shoulders and into the chest. Perhaps you want to take a deeper breath. Breathing in, feel the light moving from the chest down into the abdomen, just gently reawakening all your organs. As you inhale this time, feel the light moving down from the crown of the head, down into the shoulders, and then down the arms, through the upper arm, elbow, the lower arm, and into the hands and the fingers. As you breathe in again, feel the light to the crown of your head, and this time it will travel down the back of the head, to the neck, and then continue its journey down the whole spine, all the way down to the tailbone. Breathe in again, feel the light moving from the tailbone around pelvic area, up to the top of the thighs, as you breathe in once more and feel the light move down the legs, the thighs, into the knees, calves and the shins, into the ankles, the feet and all the toes. And I want to feel bright yellow sunlight. Now entered every cell of your body and it's gently reawakened and reinvigorated the whole of your body. And I want you to gently become aware of your body's contact with the floor. Those little contact points, the back of the heels, the calves, the back of the thighs and the buttocks, the areas of the spine, the shoulder blades, the back of the arms, the back of the hands, and the back of the head. Be aware of any sounds that you may hear within the room that you're in. I 
I want to gently wiggle those fingers and toes. And gently rotate the hands and the feet. And rock your head gently from side to side, just awaken the brain. And just be aware of what your body's asking, what it needs at this moment. Perhaps you want a yawn or a stretch. Perhaps you just want to bring the knees up into the chest. Just bring them up one at a time. Just be careful of that lower back. And if you're hugging your knees, maybe have a little circle of the lower back just to ease it off. You've been lying for a little while. Or maybe just rock from side to side just to massage that lower back. Staying in a nice tight ball. Gently roll onto that right hand side and just stay there for another few breaths until your awareness has returned. And only when you're ready, just push that left hand down in front of your face and gently push into it to help you come back up to sit. Welcome back everyone. Hope that you picked something nice and meaningful to you from the tree of life. Not one I've, I've read before, but I came across it earlier on. I thought that was quite nice. But why not? Sometimes you just come across things at the right moment. So thank you very much again for joining me. For the online classes, it's really appreciated, and sure it's hopefully not long till we're back in a hall. Let's we'll see, <laughs> see what happens. You just never know. Um, but as I say, I probably will continue an online class anyway, because it gives people a bit more freedom without rushing about trying to be somewhere for a certain time. They can just go home, set up their mat, and that's them there. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay. So just sit up. Comfortably, whatever is comfortable for you. Resting the hands on the thighs. <sighs> Take another few moments. And just breathing in, bring the hands up above the crown of the head. And breathing out, bring the hands down into the heart. And bow forward, Om Shanti. Thanks again, everyone. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Whatever it